Hey there everybody, welcome to my channel, my name is Rocco. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is a quick little follow-up to the video that we did last time on DeForce where we took a, a Genesis 8 model, in this case as you can see on screen, BJ Amira. Uh, we then popped her into a pose and with her skirt that she was wearing we did a little deforce modifier on it which we set up in the simulation settings and then under the frames to simulate we did current frame and we just had deforce do its thing and it came out pretty okay uh, what we're going to do today though is, is the next step in this which is we're going to put her into another pose but this time a pose that's a little bit awkward when it comes to uh, running the simulation for the current frame and what we're going to have to do instead if we come down to our timeline is to run the default simulation over the animation timeline that you can see at the bottom so we're going to put her into a pause at frame zero put her into another pause at frame 30 and then let deforce animate that skirt over those 31 frames so what is it that we're going to do then is that on frame zero in our timeline we're going to be wanting a set pose that she's in and we're just going to use the A pose uh, that you can see that she's in there. And on frame 30 we want to choose our awkward pose that's going to be a struggle to do with current frame default simulation. Now if you've never used the animation track before in DAS don't worry about it. We're not going to be creating the next Toy Story or anything like that. <coughs> uh, so all we're going to do is just one pause at frame zero, another pause at frame 30, and then just let Daz animate over that 30 frame. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to come up into the contact frame when we've got Amira selected and frame 30. Now I've already chosen a, a pause that I'm going to put her in so that we're not spending 10 minutes me humming and harring and pondering over what to do. I'm just going to go with that pause there because I've, I've pre-checked it and it is a bit of an awkward pause, as you can see. So... Good job she put her knickers on today. Uh, that skirt is all over the place. It, it's a crazy skirt. You've got her feet popping out of the bottom. The skirt has already gone under where we would have our floor plane. Uh, it's a, a really awkward skirt that to, to run in D-Force. Uh, so what we'll do, first of all, before we move on, is we'll create a little floor plane because we want the skirt to rest on the floor. So we'll come up to Create new primitive, plane, uh, we don't need it that big, we'll just make it 20 feet uh, and we'll click accept. And there's the floor plane that we've got in place. Now as, as, as I mentioned you can see that the skirt goes under where the floor plane is. Uh, so it's going to be really really awkward uh, in DeForce to actually run that correct simulation without things breaking. So if we were to come back down to frame zero, where she's in the A pose, uh, and then if we were to just check each of the, the frames through uh, the 31 frames that the animation is going to move to, if we go more or less in the middle, you can see that in the middle on the 15th frame, or the 16th technically, you can see she's moving into the pose, and if we were to go on frame five, you can see the intermediate steps that she would have as she moves into the pause that we've selected at the end again the good job she had her knickers on on that one uh, so you can see that she's moving into that uh, pause over the intermediate frames which is great one thing to note though is that a feet and skirt are going underneath the floor plane during the animation now because deforce hasn't done its thing yet that's fine there's nothing happening with the skirt however i always tend to try to keep them above the floor plane if i can because it could affect the way that the final uh skirt you know finishes off with the default simulation so what i'm going to do is come down to frame zero again and with a mirror selected and the uh the transformation tool selected i'm going to lift her up about 12 12 inches or so maybe about a foot it's not far off that'll do so as we come through the various pauses now yeah i mean she might still go through the floor but it, it shouldn't be too bad that it shouldn't be too bad now as you can see though when we get to frame 30 she's floating again about a foot off the floor which is fine but uh, what we'll do at frame 30 is we'll just drag it down now i'm just going to take a skirt off a moment just so i can see where the backside is uh so if we take that off and then we just position her down 
So that should be fine if we just have a spin around to put a skirt back on for a moment. Uh, I think that looks about fine. What you want is for it just to be uh, poking through the bottom of the, the the ground plane, the ground floor. Maybe it's a bit too low. Just raise her up again a little bit. I'm not really too interested on the hand or the the foot at the moment uh, because you know we can sort that out when we come to the final render. But uh, as long as the skirt and the backside is in the right place so that the skirt falls down correctly. So that seems good. That seems fine. Uh, what we need to do now then, now that she's in that pose, and again we'll just check just that she's coming through the animation. Uh, what we need to do then is we need to come across to the simulation pane again, the simulation settings, and instead of having current frame selected, we need to come down and select animated use timeline play range. So what that's telling Daz to do is to animate from frame zero right the way through to frame 30. And each time, DeForce will do its simulation on each individual frame. So hopefully, come the end of it, everything will work well. So now everything's set up, all that's left to do is to position our camera so we can see everything and it simulate. Now because we're doing this over 31 frames, this will take a while. So I'll speed up the video and then we'll come back to it once all the simulation is done. And I'll see you then. So there we have it then, uh, the simulation's finished and the skirts come out quite, quite nice. Uh, if I was doing this for myself, there's a couple of things I would do to try to just affect the way that the skirt's finished at the end. But, uh, you know, that'd be just be messing about and trial and error and for 20 minutes or so, which I don't think you want to see. We'll cover things like that in another video. But uh, overall, the it's it's worked. It's not broken it's not awkward there's no things popping through or, or anything of the sort everything seems to have done well and done good uh, what I'll now do is I'll just uh, play around a little bit with the final position of our character put her in the background that we did before and I'll just finish off with the final render uh, if you like this video then please give it a like down below if you've got something out of it it'll be really appreciated likewise if you want to continue seeing videos like this or other things in Daz subscribe and hit the notification bell down below and finally if you've got any questions about this video about deforce about daz in general or if you just want a little chat drop a little comment down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i possibly can and i'll see you next time bye bye now